Hello, I'm Adinser and this is the second part of my Resto Druid guide for patch 6.2. I covered a lot about our most important talents in the previous video, so let's go through that uh, quickly. The first tier is our movement tier and the best talent here is Displacer Beast. In theory, Feline Swiftness is uh, more of a speed increase in the long run, but in any raid situation a blink is better than a 15% uh, speed increase. Just make sure to bind cat form to one of your keys because Displacer Beast uh, puts you in that form uh, after you activate it. The second tier is the Yasera's Gift tier. The other two talents uh, don't even come close to it. Though Scenarion Ward uh, heals for more, it is only castable on one target and requires uh, mana, a global cooldown and on top of that uh, it requires the target to get hit in order to receive the heal. Yasera's Gift uh, is the only talent in this tree uh, in literally every aspect of the game. PGs, arenas, leveling, dungeons, mythic dungeons, raids and so on. So there is no need to ever switch uh, things around. The next tier is our first uh, of the two CC tiers. And it really doesn't matter what you pick here. All three talents are good and depending on the fight some can be used and some can't. So just have fun with it. The level 60 tier is the one I spent most of my previous video talking about and there is nothing else uh, I could uh, add. Uh, just to summarize, soul is better in every way, but the playstyle of soul and uh, the playstyle of tree are different enough to warrant a personal preference in this tier. Uh, the treants are only useful for eating traps in arenas. Level 75 is the second CC tier and again all three talents are cool, but uh, Ursul's uh, Vortex gets most uh, uses in raids, since it works more times than the other two. At level 90 there is a choice between Heart of the Wild and Nature's Vigil. Although the choice depends a lot on what you pick in the level 60 tier, so if you pick 3, uh, Vigil is best since the two talents align well and uh, work in synergy. And if you pick Soul, Heart is better since it gives you a strong cooldown and you're lacking a strong cooldown when you aren't using tree. Bear in mind though that uh, Vigil was nerfed to the ground and even with the synergy with uh, the tree it's uh, not that good. Plus, since uh, Soul is better, uh, we don't actually have a real choice in our talents at all. Literally, this is the optimum build and there shouldn't be any deviations. Unless, again, I must repeat myself, uh, but uh, if you want a different playstyle, you have a choice, but uh, you will heal for far less. And of course, our final tier ties into this perfectly. Germination is the only option. So there we have it, a talent tree with zero choice. The only upside are our CC tiers. Our glyphs are the same story as with the talents. There are three mandatory glyphs, a glyph of regrowth for guaranteed crits with regrowth, a glyph of wild growth for extra healing and the bleeding roar for a buffed version of the spell. With the glyph uh, it no longer shapeshifts you into a bear or cat and the more important part is it increases its range up to 40 from 10 so that you can uh, give the buff to everyone. If roar isn't a problem though you can switch it with dash if you want more uh, movement or rebirth uh, when you CR someone they have 100% uh, of their maximum HP. Uh, nature's Cure for 2 Dispels in uh, fights that uh, require a lot of uh, burst dispelling. Or even Master Shapeshifter if you have mana issues and find yourself uh, shapeshifting a lot. There is one more glyph you have to have and it's a minor one. Glyph of Sprouting Mushroom. Uh, though every Resto Druid knows of this glyph, I just uh, had to mention it. It allows you to place your mushroom wherever you want instead of uh, targeting a player and placing it beneath you. Sad to say, but that's it for the glyphs. Now on to macros. Well, 
we don't have that many skills anymore. Plus the movement increase um, interaction has been fixed uh, in late mob uh, or at the start of Warlords, I can't remember. So I guess no need for macros. There is one though that will be needed for every druid until the end of time. And that's the ultimate uh, shapeshift macro. It automatically shifts you into a cat, or it used to do so before the forms got reworked and the code bugged. Uh, since MOP uh, there hasn't been a fully working macro like this one, or at least I haven't been able to find one. Uh, luckily the other component of the macro still works. When you are in a form, it uh, brings you out and back into that form in an instant faster than any human could do with uh, a keybind. It's great for getting out of CC, and yeah, there isn't much of that in PvE, but it never hurts to be prepared. And in general, it's a fun macro. There is another one that uh, might come in handy, and uh, that's uh, Nature Swiftness Regrowth. It uh, just spares you uh, like a millisecond. And it feels better than uh, to separately click on NS than on Regrowth. Now the only add-on I use specifically for my Druid is a progress bar from Wii Chorus for tracking Harmony and uh, Heart of the Wild. It's uh, really easy to set up. I just didn't have anywhere else so I put it to the side and uh, made it vertical. The other add-ons I use are the same as with any class. Move editing for my UI customization, quartz for casting bars, tighty plates for unit frames, though they haven't been working for a couple of weeks now, and that's uh, for everyone, not, not just me. Hope they fix it soon. Until then, I'm using the default Blizzard ones. Then I use OmniCC for cooldowns and weak chorus uh, I already mentioned, uh, finally DBM for raiding. In terms of uh, stat priority, it goes like this. Haste, Mastery, Multi-Strike, Crit, Versatility. As for Spirit, uh, it's not uh, worth taking. The only time I did end up uh, needing Spirit was uh, when I had zero of it uh, to begin with. I had full PvP gear when I started playing my Druid and absolutely no Spirit. So it was uh, hard to heal in raid, and even then I managed uh, somehow to not go home in most fights. So that only goes to show what uh, minor role mana plays uh, in the current tier. Anyway, the set bonuses are really good this tier. Uh, though they don't uh, change your gameplay in any way, they are strong passives, uh, and they focus on your life blow. Uh, with uh, the trinket uh, from Archimond uh, combined with those set bonuses, you will work wonders, if uh, the raid is stacked. However, if it's not, the Archimond trinket isn't good, and there aren't many fights that uh, the raid is stacked like that. So then, the two trinkets you should be going for are the ones from Socratar and Xul. As for the enchants and uh, gems, haste is the go-to stat, uh, of course, since it's your main stat, and uh, spirit uh, for your weapon, as with all healers. So, that was a very short video, and uh, the reason for that is there simply isn't much to talk about. The talents and glyphs are set in stone, the macros are no longer needed, and the druids used to be the most macro-dependent class of all. Uh, really, I could have combined the, the two videos and made it like a complete guide of uh, like 30 minutes. And I think I'll do that uh, if the Mistweaver and Shaman turn out to be similar. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.